Cleo? Sorry, Mum, you're late. How is it possible for you to be late for everything? It's simple. Take note of what time you're supposed to leave and start preparing earlier. I will. I'm getting you a diary. I've got my journal. A proper diary. I wouldn't use it. Anyway, what are you late for now? Edgar? You're supposed to be looking for work. We're doing interview skills. Cleo? Cleo? Do you know what? I don't like this Edgar fellow. Why? You know nothing about him. I know plenty. Like? He likes books. Oh, does he now? So what's his favourite then? He loves all the books. Have you never stopped to ask yourself why a man of his age doesn't have a proper career? He could have a criminal record for all you Mother, know. you're freaking yourself out again. Edgar is harmless. He's like a cuddly librarian. Hello? Cuddly? I'm not late, you're early. Right, I'm nearly there. I'll see you in five, all right? Right. Even later now. It's late, huh? Uh, um. <sighs> all right then. Come in. Morning, Miss Rathbone. Morning, Eddie. Don't call me Eddie. I'm sorry, I mean potential employer. Right, uh, let's start with the important one first. <clears throat> what skills do you think you can bring to our workplace? The ones that pay the bills, my good man. Cleo, please. Um, I think I can bring a good team ethic. Mm -hmm. A sense of humour too, both important in the workplace, right? And these bad boys. My arm looks like a swan. This is serious! Clearly. I'm sorry, I know it is. Okay? But this is silly. I work better under pressure. I will be fine on the day, I promise. Well, just for today, could you just humour me? You know... An interview could come up any day now and I just... Need to feel like I'm doing something, you know? Okay. Go. Okay, um... <clears throat> what experience do you have, if any? Well, I have a pretty decent blog. Hmm. How would you define decent? People seem to dig it. Hmm? Um, well, I guess I have some previous experience as a self-employed paparazzi. Paparazzo. Pap. Really? 
I tried getting newsworthy photos of celebrities, but the best I could manage was an out-focus snap of Stephen Fry eating a cheese wheel. Oh, I give up. That was true. Do you still have the photos? I lost them. You don't keep spares? I used a Polaroid camera. <laughs> Your turn! Blimey. Ah, oh, Mr. Ernest. One was wondering when you'd be making an appearance. Better late than never, I suppose. We were literally just... Fine, um, I apologise. I'm usually very prompt. Do you want me to start, Mr. Ernest, as we seem to be running on your time? Far away. I'll decide who gets fired, Mr. Ernest. You walk through these doors, I am your Lord Sugar. You are but my apprentice. What is your best quality? Now, don't give me the list of the usual cliches. I want your single best quality. Commitment. I bring commitment. You want me, you got me. Um, I dedicate myself to my responsibilities. I'm ready to dedicate myself to a career. And what previous experience can you bring to our cause? I used to run my own bookshop. Really? Co-run. What happened? I ran it with my wife. You have a wife? Had. Uh -oh. There's an accident. A car accident. So the bookshop failed. I really loved it. it didn't feel like work, you know? We don't have to talk about it. It was our home. And things change. That's why I'm stuck here preparing for these bloody interviews for a job I don't even want. This wasn't the plan. Well, Mr. Ernest. We love emotion here at Rathbone Industries, and you've got plenty of it. The job is yours. <laughs> Peachy. Got anywhere you need to be? No. Then why would you say we get out of here? Still no. In fact, put that away. Oh God, you're not a sex offender, are you? No. So you're looking forward to seeing her? Who? You'll see. Ooh. <laughs> it's 
you, kiddo. Thanks for taking her today. Cleo, this is Julie. Otherwise known as Mum. And this is Sophia. Howdy. Cleo's helping me find a job, sweetie. What do you say? Shall we all go and play on the swings? Oh, in this weather? Killjoy. I'll race you. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Cleo! Quack.